Hey everyone, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener, and it's time for a kiwi vine grown from seed update. That's right everyone, the kiwi vines are now 27 months old today, August 3rd, and it's been 100 degrees every day for like the last month here in Texas, so I've really neglected, I'm providing you an update and getting these guys summer pruned. Now, in the first two to three years of growing your kiwi vines, your biggest thing is to kind of let them vine out. You're trying to train up one lateral leader straight up and then have it branch off, kind of like a grapevine. And I've let, I've let these kiwi vines go, guys. I've let them go. And I've done that on purpose. Now that it's starting to get to the 90s now, and over the next several weeks, it'll dip even into the 80s, and we'll start cooling down, I think it's a good time to get them summer pruned, so they have a little time to recover, put on some more growth, but at the end of the day, I do want to start training some central leaders. Let me flip the camera around, show you where the trunks are, and show you what kind of mess we got going on. As you can see, we've got kind of a mess, especially on this one. So this is probably going to be right here my main leader so I will need to get a stake and straighten him out but I'm gonna heavily chop him once the season ends I'm probably gonna chop him where his biggest turning point is which is right here so then I'm gonna take this part of him straighten it up and let him grow from that now I'm not gonna do that dramatic today because if I were to do that he'd have no foliage we've also got secondary leaders coming off it and I don't mind that either I may take these and pull them to the side and try to have a couple different leaders on this to see which one grows the best we also have one down here laying down and a new shoot coming off that one this one right here you can see how thin he is because he's being shaded by some of the bigger leaves of the other plants I've been working on getting this one situated and the other ones back there so again in this video I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce some of this overhead foliage but we will be getting all four plants once this uh, once it hits winter and it drops all its foliage we will get it down and reduced to just one liter that way next year when it rebuds it's kind of like a tree trunk and then it will start setting its lateral vines as well but you can see how much these guys have grown they're twisting around each other and this is what I don't want them to strangle each other and the one thing about kiwi vines is when they're loose and hunting for something to grab they're very malleable, if you will. You can bend them in any direction. But once they grab something, it sends some kind of reaction to the trunk and it becomes rigid and stiff. And that's what's going on with a lot of these. I've got kind of a tangled mess up here, but all of this upper canopy will be removed come winter. Look how much foliage they put on. Part of me, wants to kind of leave it a little crazy just so it grows all around here like I've talked about in previous videos and just let it do its thing and see what kind of flowers it produces and just maybe weeding down some of these extra vines like I don't need two vines here I could also just trim one of the vines here and let one run its course but I think today for the video is I'm going to show you the plants we've got four here and then on the other side of the yard we've got a few more plants but first and foremost I think it's time to do some trimming because this guy is going bonkers despite the heat. The heat is frying some of these lower leaves that are sitting in direct sunlight all day, but the ones here that are kind of shading each other look a lot better. Anyway, let me do a little bit of cleaning up and some maintenance on this guy, sculpt him a little bit better, and I'll show you what he looks like. We even have him running out in this direction as well. Let me go ahead and give him sculpted a little bit. I'll show you what I've taken off and we'll give you a better look at inside of them as well. It's quite the pile, guys. We took a whole bunch off, and I know it's going to look pretty dramatic and crazy like I chopped the heck out of them, but at least now you can see the trunks. So I've taken this first plant and chopped it all the way to here. I want this trunk to focus on a single leader. I've taken that small one down there. I left that little tiny end just because I don't know how well this one's going to do, but I have him growing up. The big one is already intertwined and up here, and I don't want to do too much more pruning. I just chopped away a lot of the excess vines that were shading a lot of the lower leaves. And I'm going to let this continue to grow throughout the summer and the fall. And like I said, once it loses all of its leaves for winter, then I'll really do the heavy pruning and get these leaders established. You can clearly see on this 
tree down here, we actually have a few branching out. Uh, hard to determine which one's healthier. I believe this thicker one is the healthiest one. And I'll probably prune it right here at the end of the season, eliminating a lot of this top foliage. We've got this one right here that I've allowed to vine around and I've cut them off here. Really heavy, I know. He'll set new buds across it. The root system in here is strong. And then he sent a side shoot off that's wrapping around this and I might leave it. I kind of like it. I, I'm debating. Maybe I'll let him Y like this. So they have one that goes up into the canopy up here and the other leader I'll go straight up as an experiment. But yeah, we've chopped the heck out of it. Now I'm gonna break up all of these leaves and make a mulch base down here so that the ground doesn't get baked during the hot uh, days that are still ahead for the next 30 days. I also had this last plant right here and he was growing up into my apple tree. So I had to top him for now. Again, when I set these here a few years ago, I wasn't planning on what to do with them. I just wanted to get them outside of my garden. I didn't have a lot of space. I still don't. So this is the best we've got. More likely than not, I am going to take a couple of these that are encroaching on the apple tree and I'm going to replant them somewhere else in the yard. I have to just figure it out where. Probably where the grapevine is over here that's been going crazy. And it's only produced two bundles of grapes this year. I know it's only it's on its third year, but it's just not producing. I may trim the heck out of it and maybe put some kiwis over here where these peppers are along this and let them continue to grow on this side. Now, we do have another kiwi vine over here as well. And uh, he's going bonkers as well. I had been training this guy. He is, see if I can get in here. He is more like a tree trunk. He's got some side shoots I've got to trim away, but I was training this guy to be a single leader and he's branched out too much. Probably so much that I really can't do a lot of pruning on him right now. I'll clean up the top, but I'll have to wait till the grapevine dies back and he dies back as far as the, the for the winter. And then I can set his reset his leader. But um, this is the one that I've got set up the right way. But right now you couldn't tell because there's just grapevine all in the way. Now we'll go in the greenhouse and it's been tough in here guys with this uh, summer heat. But we've also got a kiwi vine in here and I've chopped him really well. He's also being trained as a single leader. As you can see, he's also grown into this netting. So today I am going to be chopping him one more time as well. Probably right at this Y right here. I'll just take a couple of nodes off and then we'll string them up to the roof with some string. Probably got to get some new string. But we'll get them growing vertically again, not uh, laterally. Let me get that done and I'll be right back. All right. We've got them trimmed up, growing up along this trellis and up to the top. So he's back to a single leader. And again, guys, I know it's not the most greenest looking of gardens right now. I'm telling you, this Texas heat, no matter how much you water, this ground just gets dry and dry and dry. But this is a Kiwi experiment. This is the one from the greenhouse. He's still thriving. At the end of the day, his growth looks good. He's still healthy. He'll really take off once I get the tomatoes out of here. And he doesn't, he's not competing with the sun and the lack of rain. And even though I'm giving him lots of water, at the end of the day, it's just 105 degrees and he's doing his best. But again, I stuck this one in here just to see what he would do and hide some free space. Went ahead and uh, chopped the craziness out of this one. He's back to being a single leader up here now. So we'll work on his shape. Again, at the end of the year, I'll probably chop him right here and we'll let him do his thing. Look at the leaves, how brown they were because they weren't getting any sunlight. Um, these were all shaded by all that uh, kiwi vine itself. So anyway, I know it doesn't look the best as far as uh, the color and the way that I've sculpted them, but we're still working on the first three years where we're trying to get these guys to uh, be single leaders. I'm learning as I go. If I would have known from day one what to do with these guys, I probably would have been a little more strategic. However, again, like I said, in the first two to three years, you can let them go a little crazy. 
because you're gonna cut them back every year like grapevines. You're gonna literally cut them back until you have an established trunk. And then once you set your lateral vines, that's when you just trim them back like grapevines to their lateral vines. So we're not too worried about it right now. Yeah, they look a little ugly from the Texas heat and lack of pruning and me not paying attention to them. But uh, I'm pretty certain here by the next couple of months, when I give you the next update, they'll look a lot better. Well, there you have it, everyone. That's my Kiwi Grown From Seed Series update, month 27. I know they're not looking the best. There's not much you can do. And I wanted to let them just grow as much as they possibly can, mainly because their foliage would help shade some of them to help prevent them from dying or drying out. We've done the best we can with what we can and what we used to know and what we now know. I've got them pruned. Now I'm hoping that they'll put on a little bit of extra growth. We're gonna start having a drop in temperatures, should start seeing some better results over the next couple of months. Then I'm gonna winter prune them, probably late December, early January, and get them ready for the spring. I'm really optimistic that next year, I'll be able to have established leaders and some lateral vines growing off of them. Maybe if we're lucky, in a couple of years, we'll get some flowers or fruit. Fingers crossed. At the end of the day, I appreciate those sticking with me. We're learning as we grow and as always, thanks for watching and happy gardening.